Did you know coconut water was discovered by the professor on Gilligan's Island? It's true. Published in the Minnow Journal of Nutrition. Peer-reviewed by Ginger Mrs. Helen Gilligan with Marianne, editor-in-chief. Okay, maybe not entirely true, but coconut water has definitely gained fame as nature's sport drink. So is it the real deal or just some tropical marketing fluff? Watch my long-form hydration video on YouTube for a deeper dive into other hydration options. As for coconut water, let's look at the science. A 2012 study recruited 12 men to run on a treadmill for an hour to become mildly dehydrated. Then they were given one of these four to see which drink was best for rehydration. The results, after three hours, all four drinks were equally effective at rehydration. That's right, body weight, plasma osmolality, and urine-specific gravity, a measure of hydration, return to similar levels with each drink. You can see that coconut water has more potassium than sports drinks. Four to 500 milligrams is typical of most commercial coconut waters. In my long-form video, I incorrectly have it as 600 milligrams, but that's for water straight from the nut. When it comes to rehydration, after a dehydrating workout, coconut water works just not any better than water or sports drinks. But this was just one study with a unique set of subjects and methodology. So if coconut water, which is effective, works for you and you like it, stick with it. Especially if you're stuck on a desert aisle like these two. Like and subscribe and check out my long-form hydration video on my YouTube channel. Thanks. As always, matchers come from peer-reviewed research.